Harry. So if you watched the last vlog, I was actually coming back from Paris. I came home, I think it was like 48 hours, and now I am back. And I feel like I always kind of start my vlogs here, and it's actually at the same hotel that I stayed at last time. It is at Mason Mare, and it's really good because it's literally like a less than 10 minute walk from the Eurostar. So we got the Eurostar here this morning. We've literally come here, but our room wasn't ready, so they've just put us in a kind of like smaller room just so we could get ready real quick. So we got here a little bit earlier, so I've just quickly whizzed over my hair with the Dyson, kind of blown it out. I'm wearing my Jill Sander tee, which you might have seen actually in the last vlog, and this cute little grey skirt from H&M, a very good dupe of the Mew Mew. Celine, my cowboy boots, if you can see, but the sun is coming in and out. It is so nice here in Paris. It's actually really warm, and the forecast is going to be like that this week, which will be nice nice so we're here for the next few days gonna have a nice little girls trip so I'm gonna bring you along because I love being here in Paris I get so inspired by it so it should be a fun Let me get a close up of the mango boots. I feel like they didn't get a moment. Très bien, très bien. Final little look, twirl situation. Cute! And then head back out so we can really see the whole thing. Okay, there you go. This is how it looks. Woo! So we've just been, oh sorry, my phone is in the way. We have just been out shooting. I'm with Chloe. I feel like you weren't in the vlog earlier, but I haven't been in the there vlog. we go, we're in focus now. Here she is. Hello. So we're gonna go back to La Café Marley because last time we were here we had the best croque-monsieur. Croque-monsieur? Croque-monsieur is it? Yeah, croque-monsieur. So we're gonna have that, some wine. We've just shot these looks that you saw. Burglar. Then we're gonna... <laughs> For the events. Then we'll change and head back out later. But we definitely need a wine pit stop. dinner and we've come back and we've checked into Macy Met into our room because obviously earlier we hadn't checked into our room yet so this is our room we've got a lovely Parisian balcony so we've got our wardrobe here I've changed my outfit I think since you last saw the vlog I look very crusty now my hair is flat everything's flat we've been up since 6 a.m. so we're gonna unpack our stuff put it away and just have a bit of a chill night have a glass of wine on the balcony maybe so our room is lovely actually, it's quite spacious and a really nice touch. They've left some lovely like biscuits, a little flower and then they've also left a vase of fresh flowers which is such a lovely little touch. And then if you come out here, we've got a lovely Parisian balcony and I just made friends with the kids over the road but I obviously don't want to show them on the vlog. They were really cute like waving. And we've got this lovely Parisian balcony to sit out, enjoy a little bit of a glass of wine out here, a little coffee in the morning, and the views of Paris. So in here, I actually haven't gone into the bathroom yet. I think the toilet room is separate to the bathroom. I think, yeah, I think the toilet is through here. Oh no, no, it's all in here. So what's that, what's that in there? Is there two bathrooms? What's this? Oh, is this a conjoining room? Oh, I thought, yeah, okay, so that's if it was a conjoining so room. So your bathroom. Right. 
<laughs> bye bye. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So we can unpack and have a chill night. A bit of a We're feeling a bit crusty, aren't we? Yeah, I'm so gross, but please don't judge me. I look. <laughs> they asked me basically. I just found my name downstairs, and I didn't know. I was like, it's too late at night. We've been, we've been, we've been, fu <laughs> we've been functioning since six a.m. Literally. I'm but here. yeah, we will pick up with you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning. We are just about to have our breakfast on the balcony. It is such a lovely day today. It feels like really crisp autumn air. Blue skies. It's about to dig. But yeah, we're going to Matignon and I've always wanted to go. It's been on my list while I've been in Paris and I've never managed to. So I got us a reservation tonight, which is amazing at like eight. So we're going to go out today, have a fun day, do some shopping, hopefully see some vintage shops as well, which I've not done in Paris. Just have a fun girls day and then go out tonight. Because tonight's actually our last night because this trip's quite short. We've only been here for two nights. So just making the most of it. So I'm going to finish my hair and then I'll show you when it's done. Yes. Chloe just said she looks like Rumpelstiltskin. skin. Do you remember? Do you remember that story? Traumatised. But yeah, I do. I just feel like it's giving Giles... You do not look like Rumpelstiltskin. It's giving Giles from Buffy. <laughs> if you understand the reference, you understand. I just... Give you look fab. You look fab. Right. So, I've just quickly diced... I say quickly. I did do my um, dice and air app. I say under 10 minutes, maybe. So it's nice and bouncy. Hopefully this holds, but... I've just shot this outfit here on the balcony because look how pretty this is. You can see all the autumnal trees from the balcony and just the gorgeous Paris buildings. I love these buildings. Like we were looking into the apartments yesterday. There's like a family. Then underneath it, there's like an office. It's just all a lot going on. And me and Chloe now are going to get ourselves together. We're going to go out at this really pretty bridge near us. Sorry, it's super loud on the balcony. Did I come in yourself there? Don't mind me. <laughs> Here she is, getting a shot. Whoopsie. But we are just about to go out and shoot some looks this morning and then we're going to head off shopping. So I'm going to get into something a bit more dressy because this isn't very, very casual. So I'll show you my outfit after. Chanel brooch, cute little skirt from H&M, my mango boots, but we just did a little bit of shopping in the Frankie shop and it's such a lovely store here, it's really aesthetic pleasing but like the stock they have is amazing as well because sometimes in the UK you get the charges of when you get the shipping, however you don't get that far fetch, that's where I always get it from, but Chloe just got a nice another bee blazer, she's actually wearing my grey bee blazer at the minute, that's the bee one, yeah. It's not the gel soap, or the gel soap. That's the grey one, I love that one. That's the one I recently got with my Farfetch credit. 
but we're just gonna on we're just now on a mission sorry for a coffee because you guys know me i need my oat milk coffee my lattes and a lot of the hotels here don't do them but the coffee shops are really good so we're on a mission go get a coffee and then we might go and sit and have like a french parisian lunch somewhere i fancy like a french soup or mussels or something even another crockman sure would go amiss <laughs> shopping now we've come back near the Louvre oh my god it is so chaotic behind you it's so busy and we've just obviously had to get French onion soup I was really craving it so all this cheesy goodness and a side of proper good fritz and rosé yum we are now on outfit number no three right oh yeah three of today yeah third of the day we're smashing it and we've just come to the gardens these were actually closed yesterday and it's so pretty and autumnal all the leaves have fallen we're just gonna have a little mooch and i think there's a little bar up there where we might go and get a glass of wine then head back later better to talk to you to the camera and this is the third lock so i've got my mango trench this is new this season my arctic jumper i love this striped one it's just one of those that i can just always whack on i also traveled in this my zara mini skirt and my boots are last year but i found loads of similar over on my like to know it so you can shop them there we're just getting at these last few pics of chloe here it looks very parisian and pretty and beige Ooh. Hello. <laughs> then we're gonna go and reward ourselves with wine i feel like every time i pick up the vlog i'm like we're having a wine we we're having a wine that's what's happening we're basically shooting wine yeah unflattering angle but my makeup was so crusty I'm just trying to like top it up I used the beauty pie under eye concealer and it's like a brightener so if you can hear noise in the background as well I am trying to get in touch with the restaurant to push our reservation back because we're running late this is it it's so good if you have kind of like had your makeup on all day like me need to brighten it up and then I'm gonna fix the rest of my makeup and show you after I think just do like a winged smoky eye and top it up late to our reservation so we're really hoping that they've held it for us it's at Matignon I've never been before and it's always been on my list I'm hoping it'll be good it's kind of a meant to be a bit like clubby vibes so it's fun girls night we've got all jazzy so Chloe's got the glitzy Zara top on underneath her feather like the, yeah vibe. feather PJ vibes and I've got the Zara glitzy dress the skims bra skims underwear underneath and then I've just borrowed Chloe's big blazer and these are also from Zara, so hoping to make this reservation. Cheers, boo! Girls' night. <laughs> Do you know with porn stars, you know the um, prosecco that comes with it? Yeah. Apparently, it's to like sit in between every. Exactly, because sometimes I used to just pour it in. Look like our power cleanser, right? Yeah. So I went for the lamb chops and look at this creamy mashed potato. I'm ready to dive right in. We've just devoured more bread because we haven't eaten enough on this trip. And Chloe went for the rigatoni. More carbs. We had porn star martinis and I've just ordered red wine, which is very bad for my asthma, but here we are. Chloe's um, getting her shots. You, have you just literally... Yeah, I know she's going to go nuts at me. Guys, just move my puffer like it's water. <laughs> it's not okay. <laughs> What? <laughs> you look so <laughs> shook. <laughs> main character vibe. Main character vibe. Okay. Okay. 
Too fair, it's getting lively now. We came here to get lively, um, and it's getting fun. It's lively, but look in the eyes. We are going to go to Gigi to try out some drinks. Plush, divine. In one word, how do you feel about hitting 300k? And look dead in the audience's eyes. Great song. <laughs> <laughs> Oh we God, managed to catch the Eiffel Tower and if you can see it's glistening. We're just sat watching it in the background. We've got these lovely seats. We're so dressed up to be sat here. So we're going to go to one of the nice restaurants but we forgot to book it. Um, the bar, sorry. We forgot to book it and we couldn't get in. So we are sat very dressed up at a very casual restaurant bar but we've got the sparkly Eiffel Tower. We've had a lovely drink and then we're going to head back have a drink on the balcony because it's our last night and then we've got a really chill day tomorrow we've got some nice plans so we're just going to take it easy what are you laughing at us being the Simpsons? <laughs> yeah. we're such Simpsons it's just such a glow it's such a unflattering glow but it's the darkness we're such matching in our little sparkly outfits though we put the effort in for the tower we really put the effort in tonight because I don't put this effort in most nights. I'm normally just at home with my PJs girls. I'm not. I'm normally like this. In Parisian vibes. Main character vibes. Main character vibes. Always. This is, have you seen that guy on TikTok and he's like... Oh yeah, he's like... Everywhere. Oh, he's just should we do that TikTok? We should do it. We should. We try and get it done. No, I don't think bonjour's good morning, is it? That's just like good day, no? There's bonjour, bonsoir. Good morning, good day, is that the same thing? I don't know. But bonjour, we had a lovely night last night. We woke up this morning, literally packed all of our stuff up and we're just walking around now to try and find like a coffee and a croissant. Walk. Just trying to a bit of a lazy-ish morning. Yeah. Sorry, we're sitting chill. People around us. There she is. She's always on it. I'm so flipping parent. I know. All the time. It's always the opposite. But we're in the middle of Paris. There's like five million guys around us. We've got a vlog camera out. Now, someone has to be the mum of the trip. It's me. So, it's only 10am uh, and we're already playing Smash or Pass. Yeah, no. <laughs> Pass or Pass. So I said, to, I said to Chloe, I was like, Smash or Pass. <laughs> <Are you> okay. <laughs> Guys, I'm not well. I need a coffee. I'm not well. <laughs> Prince Harry or Prince William, what was yours? It's the obvious choice. I know you're all thinking it. Pass William, because I just don't want the responsibility and it's not fun. Smash Harry, because he'll just like die for me. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. We're gonna we're gonna play it later on. Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna go off now for coffee and croissants. We'll let you know where we head. We went to this area last time we were in Paris, so I think we're gonna head that direction. Because where our hotel is, it's really near the Eurostar, so it's not very central, but it's quite near the Eiffel Tower. But yeah, we're just having a little mooch because it is our last morning here before we leave later today. So we just come wondering and we found this place, it's called Rose Bakery and they've actually got a few, they've got like one that does like bread, one that does the coffee and I think maybe one that does like tarts but we just went to a coffee shop before and it was such a bad yeah. coffee wasn't it, it was literally like mud. We were literally talk about how much I desperately needed the coffee and they handed me, you know like a garage yeah. coffee. Yeah, like I don't know vibe. what it is and you guys know I always talk about this but when you come to like European countries to get just an oat milk coffee is like gold dust so i feel like i just don't get it and also all the coffees we've had haven't been great apart from cafe kitsune it's so good um but yeah that's the only thing when i come away i really struggle to get my morning coffee anywhere um so this will make us feel great to have a nice one sat here on the prison streets it is large it's really good for like people watching it from my feet yeah it's, it's nice little it's like um basically a street full of like bakeries and stuff it's really cute oh i got my oat milk latte i'm so happy and they've given us a cute little piece of cake on the side not that i need any more carbs or any more pastries i feel like i'm pastried out but it's really cute got coffee sit in the street watching the sights go by 
thought before I quickly check out, I want to do a quick room tour to show you because I always stay at this hotel and it's so convenient and they gave us a lovely balcony room. So have this little area here, we walk in and I've changed my outfit again. This is the last outfit change of the trip. So this is obviously where we had all of our stuff. Checking out now, we have all of our luggage. We've only been here two days, but we've shot a lot. So that's why we brought loads with us. So we're just going to check out now. Head out. Thought I'd also quickly run you down this outfit. I'm not sure why this camera is making me look very pale, but I've got this cream jumper, which is the coziest knit from Zara, and I love it. I love the fit of this. My Frankie Shop blazer, my Lady Dior bag. I've not worn on this trip yet, so I've brought her out. Celine Sonny's, my Dior earrings, and then I've got this skirt on. I've had it for ages from H&M. I've actually ordered like a cream, lovely one from Anya Bing, but it didn't come in time. And then my M&S Chanel dupe flat. So this is the last look of the trip. So we've just found a cute spot to shoot. So I'm just shooting Chloe so you can see a bit of behind the scenes. Watching, just loving life. Good vibes.